I have a request. Can since, I? since this one is a Batman. Yeah, it's a Batman crossover. Can I be Batman? No. <laughs> you're not weird enough. Uh, <laughs> as long as you're willing to do what it says in here. I am willing with to our, do what it says. With our uh, other member there. Come on up. You're the other member. Yeah. Any other person he refers to is not me, so it's you. <laughs> this is a uh, Batman crossover. I'm actually going to have to hold on to the mic for this part. Hold on, where's the cord? Where's the cord? Shut up, that's the best way. Set up, set up, set up. Can I get, yeah, can I get some, some kind of like classically... I, I, want to, I want to give the ambiance that I'm reading a story to children. <laughs> I think we, do we have... Yeah, you do need buttons for this. Uh, that being said... Are those tear away buttons? Don't tear it away, just unbutton it. Just unbutton it. Oh, that's kind of horrible. <laughs> tragedy porn. <laughs> title, title is Tragedy Porn. Thunder rolled with a vengeance. A faint air of depression hung over the city of Gotham like a fire-retarded blanket. And perfectly diamond-shaped drops of water fell straightly towards the ground. Edward Cullen... He was not anyone's hero. He was a silent guardian, a watchful protector, a dark knight. Shh, hold on, it gets worse. Right now, right now, he was wearing a beige jacket over a shirt that was a slightly darker shade of beige. His shoes shone beigely. His beige corduroy trousers were half an inch too short, and his socks showed in the gap between his shoes and his trousers. That doesn't help, he's immune to bullets. His socks showed in the gap between his shoes and the trouser edge. Were they beige? They were beige. <laughs> Suddenly, a dark shape dropped from the platform roof. <laughs> Author's note, Edward is standing on the train platform because he likes watching trains. <laughs> this is a terrible, tragic, like depressing, tear-inducing, and did I mention tragic condition, which, people happen, or which happens to people who are really old and virgins. <laughs> like a bat on steroids. <laughs> Batman growled like a man with chronic bronchitis. <laughs> Edward stared at him intensely, his golden orbs flashing like broken taillights. <laughs> ba Batman? Batman returned his gaze, or at least Edward thought he did. With a cowl, it was kind of hard to tell. We meet again. Yes, Edward lamented, because it was true. It has been a long time. They embraced sexually. <laughs> too, too long, Batman growled, with tears already clinging to his eyelashes like a fine mist. Edward Cullen always did this to him. My girlfriend left me for a dim 
Joey guy, Edward, ejaculated flatly with a monotone as he scrambled for the opening of Batman's suit. Do you still have buttons on this thing? <laughs> My pants are dead! Batman growled emotionally, <laughs> reaching for Edward's buttons. <laughs> I use brute strength to get it off. My five-year-old daughter is getting more sex than me, Edward bemoaned <laughs> and tore Batman's suit off. <laughs> changing wind. <laughs> Batman stared at Edward's Stygian onyx chest hair, transfixed by the wondrous sight. Then he changed focus to Edward Cullen's face and smiled a Batman smile. Which is, which is like an insane smile, but tethered to reality and proper ethics with a tenacious crooked finger. Let me show you, he said. And then they sexed. It's a walk-in, walk-out sort of thing, but beginning of the show, you have a front row seat. 